One of my earliest memories is on my little peewee, the mini bike. I'd twist the throttle, but I'd look back and I'd watch my rear tire just spin out. I mean, it was just liberation. Aaron grew up thinking he was the man of the house. I think he was about three years old when I bought him this little motorcycle. Dad, doing most of the sponsorship around here, so. We learned together. This is eat, and this is starve. In other words, when in doubt, gas it, and he'd go. I thought I was in control. Invincible. Yeah, I think you're right out of the door. I think I know how to ride a base machine. Rescue 22 Thomason, requesting position for control. I picked up his hand, and it was just like, no life. In that situation, the probability of any recovery of function is almost zero. Multiple neurosurgeons gave me a one in a million chance of ever feeding myself again. The question is, can we sometimes be wrong? I remember he told me, he's like, this will not be my fate. I will beat this. When we were discharged from the hospital, we literally had nowhere to go. I was asking, where can we go? They said, Laquita, there are no other places for you to go. Although I'd been at this for a year, I was really starting to build some momentum with recovery. When I first met Aaron, I could blow on him and he'd fall backwards. Oh, buddy. When someone says they are relearning how to walk, think in terms of how an infant starts to walk. What do you think I'm doing? The only way out of this place is on, on my own two feet. Every single step I took across that desert was every single flicker of movement that I had built on over a long period of time. Ah! Challenge to him is part of his life. I have more fear in sitting still. He feels most alive when he's on the brink of death. Aaron walking 20 plus miles would have to equate to your average person climbing Mount Everest. Wait up, Sarge. <laughs> Lieutenant Baker's coming. The battle would be over by the time I reached the scene. Wait up, fellas. I'm coming. <laughs>